All right, guys, welcome to your next Android tutorial on views. And this video, as you see, we have our layout system. This video, we're going to create, we're going to start the creation of a custom view. And all we're going to very simply do is create a custom view that will measure and draw. And all we're going to do is we're going to fill it with color for now, and then we'll make it more complicated further down the line, or we'll see what happens. So I'm going to delete all this view tree observer nonsense for now. We don't need that. So let's start with uh, creating a custom view. So it's dead easy to do. All you have to do is create a, a, a view class or a class that extends view. Or you can extend one of the already created views like frame layout or text view or image view. This is very useful if you want to have like an image view that like draws a line across the front of an image or if you want to have a text view that splits a background or something fancy so anyway all we're going to do is we're going to call this a uh, color view okay and we're going to say it extends view okay and we have to create our constructors this is a word of warning right now always include all three constructors this is very important because depending on how the view is inflated, whether it's inflated programmatically through this, whether it's inflated from XML through this, or from style through this. So there's a couple of cases, you need to handle all of them. Anyway, generally what I like to do is I like to include a private function, or a private method, called init, or initialize, that's actually from iOS, I don't even know why I called it that. And then in all three of my constructors, call it. This allows you to uh, just very simply, depending no matter where the view is used, allows our init function to be called, and this allows us to do our setup, our initial setup of our view. Also, I tend to put my member variables or my field variables down here as well because the constructors are just clunky. So let's talk about setting up our view. Now, everything in your view should have a default value because that way, if there's no attribute set, we'll go into custom attributes. Uh, XML attributes after a while, but if you don't have attributes set, you won't. It won't be that bad. I'll explain that in a minute. But anyway, here we have our custom view ready to go. So let's talk about the measure pass, or, or let's talk about yeah the measure pass. So we want our view to be at minimum 10 dips high. Okay, that's all the requirement is. It doesn't matter how wide it is. Okay, we don't care if it's zero width or a million width. We want our view to ideally be at minimum. 10 dp high let's just say so first thing we need to implement is on measure and on measure is where we actually handle our measure pass so the measure pass of the view uh, basically there's two things you need to be aware of what's called the measure spec which is just an integer for the width and the height and you'll get these in in various states and uh, there's three types of measure spec there is at most exactly and undefined and the general easiest way to do this is you get int measure or I call it mode or something like that and then you have to have measure spec which is just a view dot get mode with measure spec now the reason they use measure spec they combine the height of the, the dimension itself and the measure mode and add them together this is to stop uh, object allocation I think which is a bit confusing but anyway there we go and then we're going to write our height mode, which is our height measure spec. And then we need to get the actual width and height. So int um, given, I'm going to say given height. Given height equals measure spec dot get size. And then we have a height measure spec, command D for a duplicate width. Yeah, I know you heard my Nexus 5 going off earlier. Let me just quickly check it. Just a work email, nothing important. Anyway, so there we go. So now we have our modes and our heights. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch on our width mode. Okay. And we're going to have our case. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say measure spec exactly is our is our first case, okay? Now, for a measure pass to be complete, 
what you need to do is you need to call set measure dimension and this is a width height you pass in an int for width and an int for height and this essentially tells the view hierarchy this is how big i want to be so the, here the thing is the measure spec mode is now exactly i am told i must be this size if i'm not this size i'll actually blow up the layout and cause problems so the measure spec is exactly i'm exactly this size so essentially what we do is we just say we just send we set our measure dimension to be the given height or the given width and the given height and then we return that's all we need to do we return early now you're probably wondering what's the point of this essentially i'm told you must be this size these are the sizes i've been given set those up so now we have case for measure spec and now we have at most at most is a little complicated okay basically it says this is as you can be up to this size but not any more is essentially what we're being told here for at most so you say like it's like saying um you know these are the sizes you would ideally like to be or what size these it says you can have any size up to 100 pixels so that's your at most and there's a very easy way of solving this okay so as you know we want our height to be minimum of 10 pixels and we want our width we don't care so our given width will be the width we'll send back okay so we set back the given width because it's telling us you can be at most this wide and we're like yep that's okay fine we don't care about our width but we want to be 10 pixels high if possible so essentially what's actually happening here is that our height mode or our given height might not be correct because it's saying if, if it's saying you can be at most 100 dips high and we're saying oh we want to be 10 that's fine we send whichever one is smaller but if they say you can only be five dips high and we want to say we want to be 10 well that's tough luck we have to return at most five dips so and by the way everything here is in pixels so be wary pixels are important so what we need to do is we need to actually calculate our height and what we're going to do is we're going to write a function or a method so i keep calling them functions and we're just going to say get height and normally the measure pass is a lot more complicated because you have things like you know um oh damn there's already a get height function eh, call it get known height or something like that now uh one of the things in this that you have to be aware of with uh, the measure pass like let's say you're doing text manipulation you have to basically know all your text properties at this point and figure out how big your text needs to be and all this other stuff so let's say we just have get known height good stuff now what we're going to do now is we need to figure out how big 10 dips is in pixels so we need to do typed values so we need our context which you always use by get context in a view that way if it's an activity it doesn't matter if it's what activity or what fragment or what gobbledygook notif notification but actually you can't do notification because it's remote views and remote views are evil anyway i'm not a fan of remote views i've worked with them they're okay but they're peculiar so we need to convert then takes pixels to dip so uh, int uh pixel height so this will vary this actual measurement will appear very dependent on device equals um bugger i've actually forgotten this i normally have a function in my projects for handling this so i'm actually going to google this live uh i know some do a typed value i haven't looked at this function in a while here i'll pause the recording i'll be back in a sec so i found the damn function it's a uh, typed value that apply dimension that's what it is and this allows you to do the calculations and you need to get the display metrics so it's very simply a uh, get context dot get resources get display metrics and the pixels we want is 10 and that's our height so i need to return this uh, i actually have this in a static function in one of my utils classes i use the whole time but anyway there we go so what we're going to do is we're going to say int uh, prof uh, our height 
the ver the height of this is a terrible name equals get known height okay so that's what we want we want our height to be this so very simply we say int height equals math dot min so we want to send the minimum whichever one is smaller so we just say height mode or uh, given height our height and that'll calculate the min and then we send that back as our dimension and that's all there is to it then we have case and we have one last case measure spec dot exactly or not measure spec exactly unspecified to handle and we'll return out and essentially if it's unspecified we simply set our given width and our height we want to get known height and that's it that's the measure pass done so we don't actually use the height mode at all uh, generally the mode is always the same sometimes it can be different I've never seen that happen personally but there we go uh, actually we really should use the height the width mode because we don't care about the width ever so we really should use uh, the width the height mode to figure out our dimension there we go so that's much better now and that's it so we don't we this is we're switching on the height there's our dimensions based on the height mode we're good to go so guys i'm going to leave the video here to run on a little long it's only 10 minutes i'd say by now but the next uh, thing we're going to handle the drawing of the view itself and the drawing is a fun part i actually enjoy doing that but anyway guys as always be good talk and i'll see you out there